Highlighting history of suburban Sydney with the St Peter's Cooks River History Group. Our aim is to preserve and promote local history. We are based at St Peter's in Sydney's Inner West. Ashfield in Sydney's Inner West is 8 kilometres southwest of the Sydney Central Business District. In 1794 and 1810, Augustus Alt, First Surgeon General, was granted land in the area. Robert Campbell, nephew of merchant Robert Campbell, bought Alt's land plus another 480 acres in 1813. He named it Ashfield Park. Four years later, Joseph Underwood purchased the property. At the time of his death, he had built elaborate stables and laid the foundation of a house. His wife Elizabeth took over the management of the Ashfield estate. She abandoned the building of the house and converted the stables to a residence. The property was subdivided in 1838 and advertised as a village to bear the name Ashfield, near the junction of Paramount and Liverpool roads near Islands Inn. This inn, Speed the Plough, was at the intersection of these two roads. The Underwood residence and garden, west of today's Alt Street, in later years, became the Underwood nursery run by John Tresider. Elizabeth Underwood donated land for the erection of a church. The foundation stone of St John's Church was laid in 1840. It was opened in 1845, the year of the first burial in the graveyard. The church was later extended. The Corlett Memorial Tower was erected in 1901. St John's Church is the oldest surviving building in Ashfield. An acre of land between Liverpool Road and Norton Street was made available for a Wesleyan chapel and schoolhouse. A stone church was built in 1864 and a Sunday school hall next to it in 1886. Today the Ashfield Uniting Church, also home to the Exodus Foundation providing meals for the needy. Ashfield was one of the original stations on the Parramatta Railway mm. Line which opened in 1855. In 1866, the New South Wales Gazetteer described Ashfield as a postal village situated on the road and railway from Sydney to Parramatta. The district is an agricultural one, well suited for market gardening. There is Boylston Steam Flour Mill and Bakery, Tancred Soap and Candle Manufactory and a Bone Dust Mill. There is an Episcopalian and a Wesleyan church. The hotels are the Terminus, Dove and Plough Inns. Ashfield has improved much within the last few years and houses are rapidly springing up in all directions. The population numbers about 1,000 persons, the number of dwellings being about 200. Ashfield is destined to become a place of considerable importance. Businessmen began building large homes in the area. It became a desirable suburb. The borough of Ashfield was proclaimed in 1872. A town hall opened in 1891. In the 1930s, its exterior was altered. In 1876, a public school opened. It became a superior school with secondary classes in 1907. A Presbyterian church was built on the corner of Liverpool Road and Knox Street. A larger church was later built on the same site. Bethlehem, the first high school in the area, was established by the Sisters of Charity in 1881. It led to a Catholic primary school, St Charles, being established shortly after. When it was burnt down in 1904, St Vincent's became the replacement, taking the name of the newly built church next door. The De La Salle School was established in 1915. An Anglican girls' boarding school called Normanhurst commenced in Bland Street in 1882. Moving to Orpington Street in 1888, it remained there until closing in 1941. One of its notable students who also lived in the suburb was Pamela Travers, author of Mary Poppins. A statue in Ashfield Park commemorates this. In 1884, the Baptists held their first service in the School of Arts building on the corner of Liverpool Road and Holden Street. After building a smaller church further down Holden Street in 1886, 
they later returned to the School of Arts, which became known as the Baptist Tabernacle. In 1936, they sold the building and moved to their current site on the corner of Holden and Norton Streets. Ashfield Park was proclaimed in 1885. It features Phoenix Palms, a war memorial, children's playground, a sporting field and one of Sydney's oldest bowling clubs. In 1888, a police station and fire station opened on Victoria Street. First floor additions were added to the fire station in 1915. A post office on Hercules Street was completed in 1891. It was remodelled in 1926. No longer used as a post office, its appearance has again been altered. When a new railway station was built in 1891, the iron footbridge which joined the two platforms was demolished and a subway built. In the same year, a steam-operated tram service commenced from Ashfield to Enfield. It was extended to Mortlake, then Cabarita. The system was electrified in 1912 and replaced by buses in 1948. From 1891, for 20 years, population and houses increased. Estates were subdivided and the land surrounding large residences was modified to accommodate smaller dwellings. Dr Arthur Beckett built Thurning Villa in 1868. It was purchased by the council for Pratton Park. Herbert Pratton was mayor from 1909 till 1911. Pratton Park Speedway, also known as Ashfield Autodrome, was created as a one quarter mile motorcycle dirt track speedway in 1930. It operated for two seasons before ceasing due to noise complaints. Today the park is the area's major sporting ground. There are tennis courts and bowling club adjacent to the main oval. Thurning Villa, located within the park, is home to the Ashfield District Historical Society. Yo Park was originally part of Hurlston Agricultural College. The Ban Tundra in the park is heritage listed. Yo Park Infant School was originally named Hurlston Park Infants. In the 20th century, Industries were established on Parramatta Road. In 1919, Australian Motors Limited relocated from Rushcutters Bay. Australian six cars were produced from a mixture of local and imported parts until 1925. Dodge and Chrysler cars were assembled with parts imported from America until 1929. AWA, Amalgamated Wireless Australasia, then occupied the site. The Peak Freens Biscuit Company built a factory on the corner of Parramatta Road and Frederick Street in 1937, adding a clock tower in the 1940s. The building was sold to Consolidated Biscuits, owner of Arnott's Biscuits, who were there until 1993. The Art Deco building is now Bunnings Warehouse. In 1922, Jubilee celebrations were held, streets were decorated and a Children's Day held at Ashfield Park. Picture theatres opened on Liverpool Road. From 1911 till 1922, opposite the Town Hall, was the open-air Ashfield Palace Pictures. The Castle Picture Palace or Castle Theatre Electric Pictures was on the site of Ashfield Boys High School. The original School of Arts, built in 1888, was used for movies. It was then owned by the Baptist Church before being demolished in 1936 for King's Theatre, which operated until 1981, today the site of Ashfield Court. A new School of Arts was erected in 1912. Opening in 1921, the Union Deluxe near Knox Street became Hoyts from 1934 until 1966 then the Apollo in 1972-73. By 1929, Ashfield had become a business centre. Premises supplying goods of all descriptions lined both sides of three thoroughfares, the principal being Liverpool Road. The upper storeys were used for offices and professional chambers. During the 1960s and 70s, blocks of flats were built and continue to be built today. Ashfield Swimming Pool opened in 1963. 
It underwent redevelopment between 2018 and 2020 to become the Ashfield Aquatic Centre with five swimming pools. A new shopping mall and civic centre built in the early 1980s resulted in the demolition of the town hall. At the corner of Liverpool and Parramatta Roads is Explorers Park. Established in 1988, its green tunnel walk of plaque highlights Australian explorers. Today, many grand houses from Asheville's past are still standing. Milton in Blackwood Avenue was built in the 1850s for sugar company executives and was at one time home to the New South Wales Premier, Sir Henry Parks. Today, it is a private hotel. Gorton in Henry Street was built in 1860 by Thomas Wilde. In 1876, it was purchased by Thomas Walker. He donated it to an infant's home, which was originally located in Darlinghurst. Today, it is the administration block of Ashfield's children's home. Turinga and Turinga Street was built by William Muir in 1865, with extensions added in 1888. Muir was an alderman of the Ashfield municipality. It has now been converted to apartments. Plym Limon, next to Almond Park, was built in 1867. Owned by George Griffiths, then Henry Moses Jr., it is now a child care centre. Mountjoy, 85 Victoria Street, was built in 1865 by John Graham, a Pitt Street Congregational Minister. It was purchased a few years later by Frederick Clissold. In the 1870s, having amassed a considerable fortune, mainly from film mongering and wool washing businesses, he was described as perhaps Ashfield's richest gentleman. In 1874, a kangaroo hunt started at his property. Interested in all things equine, Clissold was one of the prime movers behind the establishment of the Canterbury Racecourse. In 1882, the Mountjoy property was subdivided. The eastern part along Victoria Street was sold to John Jamison, who built a large house, Fernley. In 1888, Fernley was acquired by the Presbyterian Church to establish a ladies' college. The Department of Health purchased it in 1919. It became the Fernley Maternity Home. When the property was bought by the United Grand Lodge of New South Wales, the old house was demolished and a Masonic hospital opened in 1931. The hospital has been redeveloped and upgraded and now operates as the Sydney Private Hospital. In 1886, Frederick Clissold built Glentworth in Victoria Street. It later became the convent of the Sisters of the Good Shepherd. A chapel was built near the house in 1941. It is now part of the Cardinal Freeman village. Delmar, also known as Inverin, at 175 Victoria Street, was built in 1884 for Dr Edward Chisholm, who passed the property to his daughter Marguerite Delmar, who maintained the residence for the next 45 years. In 1966, Trinity Grammar purchased the mansion. It was sold by Trinity in 1987. Coniston at 153 Victoria Street was built in 1885 by accountant John Miles, grandfather of the Sydney identity B. Miles. John Balfour Clement Miles, the wealthy accountant, also built Ambleside, known as Ashfield Castle, in Queen Street. It was his third home in Ashfield. In 1955 it became Our Lady of Snow's Convent. Taken over by the Greek Orthodox Church in 1970, today it is again a family home. The Ganya, on the corner of Church and Alt Street, was originally the residence of Antarctic explorer and geologist Sir Tanit William Edgeworth David. Pittwood, in Charlotte Street, was named by John Pitt. It was originally called Ewingwood by John Wood. It has been part of Presbyterian aged care since 1942. Amesbury and Alt Street, with its four-storey gabled Romanesque belfry-style tower, was constructed in 1888 by Sydney engineer Norman Self to celebrate the country's centenary. The tower was purpose-built so he could pursue his hobby of astronomy. In December 2020, lightning struck the tower. The copper roof and top timber framework were extensively damaged by fire. 
It was subsequently repaired. Gallup House in Arthur Street was built in 1890 by Mei Kuang Tart, a Chinese immigrant and self-made entrepreneur. He owned a number of tea rooms in Sydney. He was acting consul to the Imperial Chinese government in the late 19th century. In 1988, a statue was erected to him in Hercules Street. Today, the house is a nursing home. Banningyong at 33 Tintin Road is one of two adjacent properties associated with William E. Robson, solicitor, parliamentarian and mayor of Ashfield. Living in number 31 when his first wife died, he later occupied number 33. Today, Ashfield has a busy commercial area along Liverpool Road but continues to be a predominantly residential area with a number of schools and aged care facilities. If you have enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel. It's free. Coming soon, Balmain, from an industrial centre to a gentrified suburb. And check out our website, stpeterscooksriverhistory.wordpress.com.